Today I will address a, a problem that everyone knows exists, but it's not so obvious how to solve this problem. Anyone who's actually struggled to gain access to data to do fundamental research or innovation and had, had to jump through hoops, either internal to their own companies, to just gain access to data will resonate with what I'm about to say. Most data required to address some of the issues in healthcare are either not being collected at all, or they are being collected, but they are under the control of large insurance companies, big payers, large providers, big device manufacturers who sit on this data claim they are working on huge innovations. Really? The fact is, they are not working on all any meaningful innovation. Real innovation threatens their business. Why invent a word processor when typewriters are selling just fine? This is a fundamental problem within our industry. How do you gain access and circumvent these data tyrants. Well, let's look at one of the fundamental questions that folks claim that they're working to address. You can't have any more fundamental question than how am I doing? What is the status of my health at any given point in time? How are our children doing? Kids under age of 16, are they getting healthier? We debate whether to issue free health care to kids, and yet we can't tell whether they're actually getting healthier. What data do we need to be able to address this question? Where are they? Well, there are obvious data, clinical data, EMRs, locked up in some huge EMR vendor database. <laughs> Claims, huge warehouse, no one knows what's in it, often dirty, providers put in whatever code gets them paid, data you can mix, you can share, you can combine, you can properly curate. That's what we're dealing with. Data you can't even trust. How do we deal with this issue? How do we, what about data that references provider-provider interactions? Data that will actually tell you whether there are providers in our network or in networks that are actually revolving doors for readmissions. Where are that data? Travel patterns, habits. Where are the data? I bet you your wireless provider knows when you're visiting your shrink. But where are the data? We can understand a whole lot about these kinds of interesting data than some of this clinical data that we can't trust. Behavioral data. Who's collected them? Environmental data. Where are they? Can't get them. Nobody knows where they are. So there's got to be another way to address this question. Data democracy. The opposite of tyranny. Data that we can organize, make it open, about me, make it independent of anybody, allow for good privacy and security, let it compute your health status. There is a constant in our lives that we're not fully taking advantage of. We carry it all the time, cell phones. Cell phones are getting smarter. They're actually becoming computing devices. Some of them can read your vital signs. They can <laughs> store your health records. They can allow for interesting information about you to be collected and controlled by you. But how do you turn this device into an Uber computing warehouse. Well, the idea is, imagine a super app 
that takes this information the cell phones can collect, takes information about your health records, and computes your health status at any given point in time, just that point in time, and publish the information somewhere. That information is then subscribed by your cohorts whose health status at that point in time are also similar and used to actually recompute their own health status and publish back into this virtual cloud. This is happening all the time, over time. When you do this well, then magic begins to happen. Look, if you take a pebble and throw it into a pond, it creates a ripple. If you throw a bunch of pebbles inside ponds, these ripples begin to collide with each other. You can tell what type of stone created what ripple by simply studying the intersections of these ripples within the pond. Are the stones big, are they small, are they round? Just by looking at what is happening within this virtual pond. That's what we're working to create, a data ripple, a virtual cloud of multidimensional data ripple. Forget the data, started the ripple. Each ripple can represent an emerging disease, a precursor to new diseases, epidemics that are quickly approaching the United States and intersecting ripples along the way. You can actually understand what's actually going on by allowing this network effect to create a multidimensional pond of information that you can actually study to understand what's going on. So that's an open collaborative we're working on a flow logic, working with major research centers, you know, people that are innovating within the app world to create this stuff. Don't worry, the cloud is not going to exist in some central location. <laughs> the ripples will bounce off of a local mirror and back to whoever is subscribing to it. So you're actually carrying a piece of this worldwide health warehouse itself. Every device carries only your information and nothing else. But you can have a way to actually re-aggregate them back. So back to that question I asked before, are our kids getting healthier? If we had this, we'll be able to take a section of the ripple that describes children under 16, we collide them, or do what's called a ripple joint of another ripple of, say, folks that are taking statins. We do another ripple joint <laughs> of folks that are perhaps taking statin and have uh, hypertensive. You can keep repeating it. Ripple joints of the same data of folks taking integrated medicine. Where it intersects is a new ripple, a ripple that actually tells you something about what's actually going on within that entire environment. That ripple can now be recomposed, brought back into a setup where you can actually study and analyze them. This data will be totally independent of anybody. It will tell you things that are happening in real time. It will tell you information that you can never really get because this information is happening right now. <laughs> In some of these third world countries, where you can't call the next room with a landline, but they all have cell phones, this is how we'll be able to address health disparity. You will be able to take information that their phones are broadcasting and analyze it against other data anywhere else and advise them as to what's actually going on within their own local environment when you suspect something going on. So, so the idea is to now study ripples, classify them, understand what they mean, figure out when artificial ripples are in the pond. Did someone, is someone trying to actually confuse you? Drop your own stone and see how it ripples around. This will allow us to address healthcare in fundamental ways. Imagine what would be possible. You no longer have to go around begging for data, filling out all kinds of forms within your companies, when you turn your cell phone on, only your data disappears. 
doesn't affect anything else. When you turn it back on, new status of your health is recomputed. So that's our approach to dismantle data tyranny. Our approach to finally free ourselves from having to <laughs> deal with data that is incorrect, data generated by bad applications, data you can trust that we are trying to use to make decisions about our health. Thank you. <laughs>